Are you there? Are we connected? Excellent. Truly excellent. Now, we may begin. First, you must create a vessel. Select the head that you prefer, and with that, what's up guys? Welcome to Delta Rune, a new official Undertale game made by everyone's favorite dog, Toby Fox. So when this first got released, there was a 24 hour block where you weren't supposed to share anything about the game. But when this video gets uploaded, 24 hours will have passed, so I think everything should be okay now. And I am already pretty excited because it seems like we're gonna have a little character customization, character creator here. Select the head. Um, I'm just gonna quickly select, I guess, this one, because this kind of reminds me of Frisk. Maybe we can go back to Frisk. This one, please. Select the torso that you prefer. Um, okay, let's look at the stripes, maybe. Are they always... There are always two stripes. It's mostly about the sleeves, as you can see. Maybe the jacket. Maybe a jacket is kind of cool. Or maybe no sleeves. No, oh, I think I do like sleeves. I'm gonna go with the jacket. And maybe the buttons. Let's just go with this. This seems awesome. Select the legs that you prefer. And um, what's the difference? It's like, which one? No, I don't actually know if, that, if there's any difference. I'm just gonna go with this one. This is your body. Do you accept it? Um, yeah, sure. Looking good. You know, kind of kind of like Frisk, I think. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now... Let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? Um, sweet, soft, sour, salty, pain, <laughs> or cold? Okay, interesting little uh, question here. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go with salty maybe because I'm salty. <laughs> but I also like salty food. Your favorite blood type? My favorite blood type? Um, C, because that looks the most like an O. What color does it like most? Red, blue, green. I'm gonna go with red. Please give it a gift. Kindness, mind, ambition, bravery, or a voice. I mean, I do want it to have a voice, but I guess I'm already giving it a voice by doing this commentary. I'm gonna give it ambition. That's important. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear it. Love it. Hopeful. Disgust or fear. I am, I am hopeful. We're gonna be pacifists. We're gonna save the world. Whatever this game wants me to do, we are full of hope. Have you answered honestly? I think so, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. <laughs> I mean, okay, sure. I'm gonna go through it for you. Understood. Name your vessel. I mean, this vessel is gonna be kind of me, right? So I'm gonna go with um, my name. Is there any way to lowercase or not? I'm just gonna go with Merg. Um, 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 I'm dumb. There we go. We called it Merg. And what about the creator? Oh! Your own name! So this is gonna be... I wonder if there's gonna be a twist about this, kind of like Undertale, but we're gonna call me, I guess. I mean, I'm called Max. There we go. Max. Excellent. Truly excellent. Dude, I'm getting hyped. This is cool. Yes, hello? No problem. I, I, I want to spend even more time here. Your answers? Your wonderful... Creation <gasps> will now be discarded. No one can choose who they are in this world. What? Your name 
is. So it's already kind of a twist. Like, we don't know who we are. Chris? Toriel? Hello? But who's Chris? Okay, hello. Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. Open the curtains. Oh, dude! And we're like back in Undertale. I will wait outside for you, alright? Goodbye, Toriel. And that is Chris. I bet you that Merg, our creation, is gonna appear, or maybe it's gonna be the antagonist or something crazy. And just, this is like a side information. This is, I think, the Delta Rune, right? This symbol, which is also on Toriel's um, robe that she wears, this is the Delta Rune. Can we already interact? The drawer is mostly empty, except for a school cross country shirt with a tear in it. Okay. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious, ska. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. Okay, is that a little cage? It's a red wagon with a rusty bird cage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Oh no! Can we go back to sleep? Oh no, it's just your bed. Clothes drawer. Can we... Do the curtains. It's a beautiful day outside. Nice one, Toby. <laughs> Very nice. And I think that was it. Anything else we can... Maybe the Delta Rune? Look at the carpet? Nope. Okay, let's go. Dude, this house, Toriel. Respect. There are many books. Tales of Snails. A storybook. Snails do not have tails. A scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Not really. And a signed copy of the History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom! Turtle dude! Turtle merchant, what's up? The cactus? There's not much to say about it. It's the most sundary of plants. Right? There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded, and there's no green. Okay. Interesting. Hey! It's only you. Chris. So this is downstairs, and this is probably gonna be Toriel's room. Can we go in here? The door is locked. Nope. Privacy, very well. Okay, let's go. Some dialogue with Toriel, hopefully. Um, this is maybe the way... Oh, into the bathroom, never mind. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's... A can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray. Spray for the boys. Flaming hot pizza flavor. It seems to be almost entirely full. Aw. It's a toilet. Flush it. Oh my god, the first decision of the game, guys. This is gonna have the insane consequence ever. You flush the toilet! We win! Well done, Chris! On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo. And a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. Can we look out the window? We can't. Alright, nice little bathroom. I like this interior, dude. The fridge. Chocolate? No, there's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. There is some white fur stuck in the drain, of course. There's some cinnamon batter caked on the stovetop. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. Equality, I support that. It's a trash can. Somehow, it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. And that's the table here where we eat. And a telephone. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. That's a reading chair. Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. It's the TV. It doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. And this? It's just a normal reading chair. It's a book of hymns. And this is just a sofa or something. Okay, okay. Let's exit. There we are. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Nice car, Toriel. Nice area. Pretty secluded looking. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Azrael visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of university? Will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? And here we are! Is that Caddy? Wait, is that Caddy from what the and there's a frogget? Is that police officer Undyne? I mean that kind of fits. L library B, of course. And that is the school! Thank you, Toriel! Oh my god, dude, what is even happening? Are we gonna see Asriel, all the other characters, or what's gonna happen? Wow, and still guiding us all the way inside. Thank you, Toriel. Oh, the hug! Yes! 
and we're gonna go into our classroom, yeah? Alphys. Seriously, Alphys, nice, that's awesome. Science teacher, probably, yeah? So does everyone have a... What up? Oh, Chris! We thought, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? Oh, Tammy, please, Tammy! Chris, Bawa, uh, where is Source? No, Tam, already have partner! Why, Tam? The egg! <laughs> what the heck? Hard-boiled egg. Seems like it already has a partner. Oh my god, dude, Tam! Tam partner with egg! <laughs> okay, hello. Ah, Chris, late again, I see. Mm, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though, wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. Ha! <laughs> Not! I actually want to get an A! That face is horrifying! Well, well, you're, you're a douchebag, sorry. I actually want to get an A. If you can't get anyone, maybe your mom will be your partner again. A, don't this Toriel. Is that Monster Kid? Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I end up having to partner with Snowy. <laughs> and now he keeps turning to me. And saying howdy partner like a cowboy. Okay. Partner, I hardly know her. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, very well, Snowy. As I'm gonna I'm gonna clap 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 for you. I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner now, Scram. That's right, Chris. I got the good partner. And we're going to be laughing all the way to the bank. Because I need money and I'm also very funny. <laughs> what? You're lucky? I'd rather be partnerless than this. Ah, oh, come on. Snowy is cool. The snake? Maybe we can partner with Elphys. That totally makes sense. Chris, you know Jock Jockington and Caddy are always partners. So wait, that's Caddy. Was that Caddy's parents then? We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was hula hoop day and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. Okay, that's adorable. We seem different, but me and Caddy have a ton in common. We both like breathing and unhinging our jaws. Huh? Fair enough. Click, click, tap, 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 click, 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 taken. Wow, okay. Click, 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 tap, 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 taken. Fine. Hey, Chris, what's up? And we actually have a sound for the voice, so this is most likely gonna be our partner. Did you lose your pencil again? Are you a reindeer? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry. Oh, Bur Birdly already asked me. But I could ask Miss Elphist if we could make a group of three. Ha! In your face, Bird. I'm pretty sure the blue one is Birdly. I'll ask you for sure. Not sure. Uh, not yet. Not yet. I'm, I want to chat with Elphist. What up? What, what? What am I watching on my phone? Is it anime? It's schoolwork, of course. Uh, animated schoolwork and... Hey, Chris, have you chosen a partner yet? No, talk to me about anime. Don't worry, Mew Mew. You'll always be my partner. What is happening? Can I be the teacher? The computer's wallpaper is a rotating slideshow of nature images. Yeah, of course. And rarely an image of two buff superheroes embracing and blushing. Okay, um, we're gonna partner up with the reindeer. Do you want to be partners? Yes, please. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Elphys, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve of this abort! What? But, but Chris doesn't have a... Noelle, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Uh, actually, I just wanted to know... Noelle, can you please speak up? <laughs> oh my god. Hi, Susie. Oh. The edge in the room suddenly went up. Am I late? Oh, no, no, you're fine. We we're just, uh, choosing partners for the next group project and, uh, Susie, you're with Chris. What up? Great. Now that everyone's here, I'll write down the assignment. Yeah? Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing and... You all know I can't start class without some. How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Uh. 
Poor Elphys, please, anyone? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Elphys, why don't Susie and I... G good idea, Noelle. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. Mm, Alright. And Chris, can you go with her and make sure she actually gets it and stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. Okay, can we talk to everyone again? Don't worry, Chris. I've always thought Susie can't be so bad, you know? I'm sure everything will turn out fine. Click, 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 tap, 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 tap. Don't die. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement. Chris, if I had arms, I would take off the school hat in remembrance of you. Ah, oh, come on. I'm, I'm full of determination. Don't listen to him. It's not that bad. You'll probably survive Susie beating you up. You're just gonna fail when she doesn't do any of your project. It's like we always say, Chris. You sues, you lose. That's not very reassuring, but it's a good it's a good pun. Um thumbs up for that. Yo, Chris, I'm so sorry. If I had just waited to be your partner, you wouldn't have to be hers. She's gonna pound you to pieces, Chris. And then kick the butt of all those little pieces. And Tim? Suze, very mean. Said the egg never hatch. You don't bully a Tem, Susie. You do not bully a Tem. Now it's personal. Chris, didn't I say being late was a bad idea? Hmm, it's almost as if you should have, as they say, listened. Alphys, any words of encouragement? Chris, what's the holdup? Go out there. Okay, fine. Oh my god. Yo, Susie. Oh, was it that the chalk? Seriously? <laughs> Chris. Didn't see you there. What's up? Hey. You didn't see anything just now, did you? Hmm. You can't even say. I assume it's gonna be a silent protagonist again? Chris. Yes? Hey. Uh, let me tell you a secret. Yo, the bully time. Quiet people piss me off. You think just cause you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. Don't you dare touch Chris. If I know you're gonna pull the trigger... <laughs> Why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel? About losing your face? Are you serious? I mean, something's gonna happen. Are you... are you joking? Joking? Nah. Chris, you've got a good mother. Toriel? It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. What the heck is wrong with you, Susie? Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk. Mosey back to class, and then Chris... You'll do our project. How's that sound? What? I would have answered with bad, because I'm not gonna put up with this, Susie. Don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. <laughs> First game ever which advertises itself as your choices don't matter. <laughs> Let's go, freak. I'm gonna go back to class. I can't. The frosted window, a blurry yellow object, is teaching a bunch of blurry, bored-looking objects. Is that my uh, locker, maybe? Covered in Jockington memorabilia. Anything else? The locker is locked? Okay, I think all of them are gonna be locked. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman stance? At the stance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads. And screech at any students that make contact while dancing. Sounds like fun. What up, Susie? I'm just gonna go. Can I leave? You just gonna skip school? Yeah, I can be... I can be bad, too. <laughs> Am I supposed to snitch on you? 
<laughs> nah, I wouldn't. Get back here. Fine, but what about this? Chris? What, realized the baby classroom was a better fit for you? Hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, let's not. You drank from the water fountain. <laughs> People put their mouth on that, you know? I'm not sure about Susie. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with everything for now. Can he walk any slower or what? I'm taking my time. I get it. Not used to walking around with someone holding your hand? Come on, freak. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. Is something gonna happen in the closet already? Oh? Wait, ha, Susie! Now, ha, ha! Now you're worried as well. Hey, Chris, is it me or is it really dark in there? What's the hold up, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? You first, Susie! Be my guest! If you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll. Yeah? Uh, we'll both go in at the same time! See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. <laughs> Going back, if you leave me here, I'll fine. It's a corridor? That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. This is not a normal room. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? Exactly. You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. There's never an end. Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, <laughs> broken. There aren't any walls. Are we, like, in the void now? Have we just entered, or, like, left the world? And we're gonna enter something magical? We've worked hard enough. If Elphys wants Chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. And the door's gone? Or it's gonna close? Of course. What the? I have to admit, I really hope that it's gonna be something magical again. I love that setting for Undertale the most. Let us out, let us out. The papers. The floor, it's... Oh, it's breaking. Whoa, Susie and Chris. Goodbye. We're hearing sounds. Oh, and there we go. Wait, what's that? Is that Chris? That's Chris! Dude, wait! This looks awesome, we look like a superhero! Is thi This isn't blood, right? I think that's a cape, yeah. Dude, the, 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 the footstep sound. Where did Susie end up at? And that is a save point? We have the same star, but it's white this time. At times, you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... You save. We have no idea where we are, and Max. Okay, so we are saving. Like, the save file is for Max. So my choice did matter in the end, in a way. So was that the introduction? Kind of to show, like, this is kind of how the monsters work? Like, this is how the monsters ended up? They did eventually manage to live in peace with the humans? Hello? Hello! Nice little dance, I like that. Are all of these gonna move around? There's a hole, but I don't think we can- Oh, we can! It's too dark to see anything. And I saw a shadow. And an eye right there. It's too dark to see anything. Okay. The eyes are very... making me feel very uncomfortable. And the shadows again. I don't think that's gonna be Susie, right? Susie probably... We will have to find Susie. Is that sleeping? Or is it just a random... No? I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Looks like an amalgamation of some sort. That is an eye! I don't like that at all. That looks like, I don't know, a messed up dog face. Okay, one second. That's red. We're gonna go down first. Because red always kind of means, you know, either danger or the way to go. 
Yep, perfect. There's something sparkling. There's something glowing inside. Take it. Yes, yes, yes. This is cool. You can actually uh, you start in the middle. You got the glow shard. Now, do we have an inventory? Oh, look at this. We do. We have uh, zero uh, dollars. Is that actually dollars? Because we are on the surface now and the monsters use dollars or what? Chris, 90 HP. So these are the items. We have key. Oh, cell phone. You tried to call on the cell phone. Oh, no. That is the... Oh, oh my god, that was the um, entry number 17, right? It doesn't seem to be working. Okay, what about the glow shard? We can't use it and we should probably not toss it. Equip. We have a wood blade. Attack 10, defense 2, magic. We can use magic? I mean, th okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, I guess... Wait, we are... I didn't even check that. Are we a human? Like, I, I never uh, focused on that. I just assumed we are a human. But considering Toriel is the mom? Or is it, like, adopted again? I have no idea how that works. Power. But, I mean, I guess we have to be... No, body contains a human soul. We have one love, human. And configuration. Okay, that's just the full screen, auto run, and program. No, no, no. Pretty cool. I'm not the only one who sees that face, right? That is just disturbing. Why is it red? Is that gonna be an encounter or like a trap? Oh, friendly last pellets! Help, friendly last pellets! It's flowy all over again. I love the sounds. They're like a bit creepy, but also really cute. Was that supposed to be a tutorial? Because we had like an outline and another save. You bathe your body in the light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have had melted away, HP fully restored. But no more determination. I'm kind of missing that, the eye puzzle. Already a puzzle. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Oh, two? Again, two, and that's only one. And then that's gonna be the way to go. Oh. What? That was easy. Just, I, uh, okay, for sure. And now we have the glass and the glass floor suddenly appearing. Do we, oh, we have these things again. We're gonna have to slide down again. Woo! Now we can interact with that. <gasps> Excuse me, what was that sound? So it is alive or... I don't want to kill them. Like, if they're alive, I'm just going to leave them. And I see something in the corner, like, at the side again. I think there's a shadow. I have to... Oh, no. Is this, like, greater dog? Oh, it's Susie! Come any closer, and I'll... C Chris? Oh. Hey, don't scare me like that. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> Anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. Um, where is here, anyway? It doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You get us out. Are you gonna be our companion? Lead the way, Chris. Okay. Can I talk to you? I can't. Fine, I'm just gonna do this. Because maybe... I don't want to miss anything. And I'm, I have no idea what it means to, like, make those things collapse. But now we are together again. Together with Susie. Oh my god, never mind. You walk way too slow. What the heck? Wait, can I run? I can, of course. Because, wait, in the, in the configuration, auto run. I don't think we need that for now. I think it's fine if we... So, shift, right? Shift is running. That's good to know. Maybe I should have, like, ran already. But I don't think I can ever run faster than Susie. So we're just gonna speed it up. Da -da -da. Let's go. What up, Susie? Hey, Chris. There's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? Oh, I think they want to attack. Yup. Run, Chris. Run. Oh my god. Okay, some avoidance. Doesn't seem too bad, but we can be fast. Oh wait, we have auto run. Okay, that's nice. So we have auto run immediately. In case you haven't figured out that you can sprint in the game. Ba -da -da. Wow, nice. I want to almost get hit and see what happens, but since we're going so well right now, I think we're just going to lose some health, most likely. There's not going to be like a mini encounter like in the original Undertale with Undyne. Chris, down here! 
Whoa! Let's go! Okay, we're going down a lot. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> nice, that was close. Seems like the hitbox is gonna be very precise, which I like. And that was it. Whoa! And now everything is kind of more blue. I think it's getting darker the more we go down. Dude, okay, suddenly... I'm, I'm, I'm even more excited because this kind of reminds me of Waterfall and I really just want to explore a whole new world like back in the original Undertale. I want that magical feeling again. What's up, Susie? You're not dead, sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. You're, you're probably blocking the way? Yeah, okay. Wait. This reminds me of the Napster Blue Houses. Because they're also kind of tilted. Is this a ghost house? It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. Maybe no one except a spooky ghost. It's locked. The inn is probably gonna be open, so we're gonna check this first. It's locked. No, it's locked. Nothing is open. But there's a save point right there. What is this area? Oh, no, 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 I didn't save! Oh, please tell me I can go back. It's a castle. Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please come forward, both of you. That is the Delta Rune. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. I love that yellow golden color. A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. I mean, I, I would like to say first, but we're gonna listen. Very well then. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope, a legend of dreams. It was a legend of light, a legend of dark. This is the legend of Delta Ruin. There we go. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. We're all Final Fantasy here, but if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror. And the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding. The earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at world's edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. So this is gonna be our trio? Do we already have our characters? Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angel's heaven. Only then will balance be restored and the world saved from destruction. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. We're here to save the world. Today, the Fountain of Darkness. The geezer that gives this land form. Stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. And that was the story. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend. Together with you, of course, that despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. But isn't there gonna be a genocide run again? Can we, like, go against that? The Delta Warriors, please. Won't you accept your destiny? Uh, nah. <laughs>
What? Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got the wrong person. But Susie, without you, th the world will... So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. Anyway, Chris. If you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait. What is that? Ho, 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 what the heck? The heroes are already running away. And they didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the month. Who the hell are you? I'm... The bad guy. <laughs> what up? Oh, wait, you have that same symbol. You clowns want to seal our dark fountain, huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns. Save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Uh... Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. Thanks for the tip. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Let's hear it. Step one. I thrash you. Step two. You lose! Uh, nice plan, kid. Really? Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? Well, seriously, Lancer busts in. We can act, item, spare, or defend. And... Okay, first Chris. Um, Chris seems like... Chris kinda seems like the hero with the sword. And Zuzi seems like she's gonna deal heavy damage with that gigantic axe, I think it is. So let's maybe act. Lancer. Check. Lancer, 7 attack, defense 1. Not to call a spade a spade, but... He's a spade. <laughs> Not old enough to ride a motorcycle, so he set his bike on fire. Oh! Oh, that's pretty clever. That's nice. Ouch! This spike is fueled by victory, so I cannot control Susie yet. Ouch, okay, didn't see that one coming. Don't know how I got an axe, but like, that's cool. Is there any way I can like, switch to Susie? I don't think so. We're just gonna keep acting, and we're gonna warn. You know, go un 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 unless you want Susie to kill you. You tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack. He readies himself. Susie, I'm sorry, but I love to get thrashed. Just kidding, that's you. Ha, got you. And coming back. You're crazy, Lancer. Lancer's riding it out. Um, item. We don't have any items, right? Yeah? Spare. We can't spare yet, probably. I'm gonna compliment you. Compliment your bicycle. No, your motorcycle. You tell Lancer, you can't tell the difference between the clothes and the body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. And missed again. Oh, you make my feelings do wheelies. Sweet wheelies. Okay, that was simple. Lancer is thinking about chips. I'm gonna try to spare. Chris spared Lancer, but its name wasn't yellow. Okay, so it's the same system. Oh, I'm the bad guy. Oh. Was that a hit or was that like a... Indicator. Wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. Alright, you punkaroos. You had the luck of the draw this time, but... Next time, the losers will be you. Haha! <laughs> Bye, losers! I gotta get home before dinner! Bye! You win. $33 and 0 XP. I just assume it's dollars? Maybe determinations? That wouldn't make sense. Oh, are you two okay? Allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am... Jeez, can you take off that hood? Yes, please, I'm interested. I can barely hear you under there. Um, alright. Yo, what up? Hello, everyone. I'm Ralze. Is that right? You look kinda cool. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends and... Best way to leave is east, right? Yes, that's where we'll... Got it. And Susie's gone, right? See you at school, Chris. Um, I suppose it's just the two of us then. Yeah, let's have some quality time together. Chris, I'm a prince, but I currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here. Um, my whole life for you two to arrive. So, I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. I, me too. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. Can you keep up with my super sprinting? 
Okay, this might be locked. Hey, Chris, I really think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here after the adventure is over. And then I can bake you a yummy cake. Okay, okay, we're gonna save here. But I think, guys, I think this is a good place to stop. We have a new, you know, companion now. We have Susie, and I already forgot the freaking name, I'm so dumb. Is it? There, Ralze. there we go, awesome. We're gonna save now. Ralze, the lonely prince, is now your ally. The power of fluffy boys shines within you. Okay. The castle town. And I'm gonna end it here. I will definitely keep playing this. Apparently, from what I've heard, I think this can actually get pretty long. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, you can look forward to more in the future. I'm also gonna try to really play this soon because I'm just so hyped. I wanna see more of what, you know, is basically might be Undertale 2, which I don't think anyone expected. Especially not just randomly on Halloween like that. But guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.